back to my channel. So today I'm going to go through my Pan Nose Eyeshadows update. I feel like I have a decent update. I do have some pans to share, but I have been working on some other palettes this month. And so I did take a back seat on some of these shades, but I do have some rollouts. So it'll still be good because we'll be able to roll in some new shades, which is always exciting because I do get a little bit bored when I'm working on the same shades over and over again. Okay, so last month I rolled in a six shade. Normally I work on five. I couldn't do my math. <laughs> Normally I work on five, but I thought that I would hit pan really quickly and easily in one of my ColourPop shades that I had rolled in. So I went ahead and rolled in a new shade last time. So I actually have six shades to go through. I think I want to stick to five. Um, however, I do have two pans to share with you today. So I still will be rolling in at least one new pan because I just don't want to go back to six. I think six has been a little bit too much, but you know, we'll, we'll get into it. Okay, so I don't know which order to go through. Let Maybe let's go through, let's do uh, worst to best. Maybe that's, that's the case, I don't really know. Or maybe most usage, most usage. So least amount of usage <laughs> is from my Odin's Eye Palette. This is the Alva Palette and I've been, I should be working on Baby's Breath which is this shimmer right here, but I actually haven't used it at all this month, which surprises me. I just didn't go into it. I went into it three times last month, this month, haven't gone into it at all. So clearly, obviously, this one is staying in. Okay, then we have the shade that I rolled in last month, which is from my Midnight Palette from Beauty Bay. I only used this once. Had I used it a little bit more, I think I probably would have hit pan, but I just didn't because I've been working on some other palettes this month. And I mean, let's be fair, I've been trying to uh, use my cosmic brushes. I bought two palettes this last month and I have spent some time kind of going through them and trying to do different looks for it, which hopefully I can post that video at some point. And I have kind of neglected some other shades. So this is a beautiful shade, this Gleam shade. And I do think if I just used it maybe three, four or five more times, I would hit pan because Beauty Bay shimmers are pretty easy for me to hit pan on. I just only use it the once. So hopefully this next month, I won't be distracted by some other shiny new palettes. I haven't bought any new ones in the last week, so fingers crossed that lasts the whole month and I can get a pan in this one because it would be nice too. Okay, then we go on to my first pan. It actually is from the Aurora Struck. This is the ColourPop palette and this is the reason why I rolled in a six shade because I was so close to hitting pan in this shade which is called So Lit last month. I don't know if you could see that. It is such a weird shade. Now this is not, I don't know what this is from ColourPop because it's not a typical shimmer. It is not one, I don't think it's one of their super shocks because it feels different to their super shocks but maybe it is a super shock and I am just, I don't know. Maybe it is. I haven't looked at the website. I probably could have figured it out myself. Um, it's of. It's just. It, it was such an easier shade to hit pan on. So that one, I only used it one more time. I did use it six times last month. So seven times in total. Maybe also a couple more times outside of the project. I have to double check my spreadsheet. But really, didn't take me a lot of time to hit pan on this, and this is abnormal for me for ColourPop. So that's why I'm thinking it's a completely different type of formula. I thought at first it was a bit scratchy, but it, it was just so creamy and squishy, but not like a super shock. So I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I found it really easy. And I don't think any of these other shimmers in this palette are the same quality as that. So I'm sure they're gonna be like 20 uses and more to hit pan on, which is what I typically do when I try to hit pan on ColourPop. So this was a pleasant surprise, and I really actually enjoyed this shade. I thought it was so beautiful. So it kind of makes me, think I should give this palette another go. I probably should have added all of these shades in my big ColourPop palette, which is in here. I just didn't, I decided to keep them all together, but maybe eventually I will kind of get rid of some shades that I don't need. There's definitely some like dark tones in here that I just don't go to all that much, but I don't feel like, I mean, these are very cool tone. I don't have many cool tone, uh, 
shades from ColourPop. So I'm happy to keep it as is, but this one will be rolling out, which I'm very pleased with. Okay, and then we have my second pan, which is the, from the Bronze Rusted Palette from Juvia's Place. I used this two more times. I have been working on this shade for quite a while, so it's not like a five use and done shade. I've been, it's been a long time, but I've been working on this shade for who knows how many months, and I finally hit pan on it um, after two more uses this month. I'll put up on the screen my total uses, if I can remember to do that during editing. But yeah, this one was, it's a beautiful shade, but I was getting sick of warm tone looks and also kind of clashed when I was doing my project level ups. So I thought this month, oh, let's just get it out of this project. So I purposely like made sure that I used it and I really wanted to get it out and I didn't think it was gonna take two more uses, but I'm very, very pleased that, that one is out. And I have two pounds in here. So it's my only dubious place palette left and I have two pans in it so that's cool. Alright then I did use uh, another Colourpop shade three uses this month but I did not hit pan and it is this shade right here. Um, this shade is called Getaway. I can't remember which palette it's from but I've only used it three more uses this month. I really do like this shade but this is like when I'm talking about like a typical Colourpop shimmer, this is what I'm talking about where it takes a long time, they're like really like in there and you don't need a lot of product. So definitely the other one in the Aurora Struck was just a completely different formula. This one's not squishy, it's just your typical ColourPop shimmer metallic that is going to take me 20 plus uses to hit pan. So we'll see, I'm not quite there yet, but if I get to 20 uses and I still haven't hit pan, I potentially will roll it out. But so far I've been really enjoying it and I don't mind going into it every once in a while. And then the shade that I used the most this month was actually from my Blend Away palette from P. Louise, this monstrosity of a palette. <laughs> and this one is called Stick With It. I used it five times, but I have not hit pan yet. Um, I don't know how long they take to hit pan in these shades. I don't know how thick they are, but I've been really enjoying it. I usually use it in my inner corner and we'll just have to wait and see. I think I'm probably close. I mean, if I use it maybe another five times, potentially I could hit pan in it, but I just don't know what the average is for these ones. So I'm glad I didn't pick a matte though, because I think the mattes are pretty, I think they would be pretty hard to hit pan on the in these mattes just by looking at it. Um, so yeah, I, I kind of want to, I, I, I want more use on this palette, but it also is very like daunting and terrifying because it's so enormous. So yeah, hopefully I can get a little bit more use and maybe roll it into some sort of no pan left behind. It just, I just need to like be really focused to do that. And also it's kind of a boring palette because it's just all neutrals. So I don't know. But anyway, that one I used the most but haven't yet hit pan, which is absolutely fine. So we're gonna roll in a new one. I have updated my tiny decisions. So we have all of the palettes now in there, including my new Cosmic brushes. So if they're pulled, then I will choose a a shade in those. Now, if I put a palette that is already in a project or in my year long project pan for the eyeshadows, I'm just gonna roll again. I just don't wanna double dip at this point. All right, so here we go. We'll see what we get. It's always scary. It's scary and exciting at the same time. Okay, so we have Gloss Gods Dancing in the Sky. Oh, this is like one of my all time favorite palettes that I own, so. Yeah. All right, so this is the palette Dancing in the Sky from Gloss Gods. It is a green lover's dream, but it also has a twist because a lot of these kind of go a little bit more purple. Um, there's just like more yellow in some of them. So it's a really fun palette. It's definitely, I think, my favorite Gloss Gods palette that I own, and I own quite a lot of them at this point. So I'm actually really excited that this is pulled. Also, I keep saying that I'm going to be wearing more green, and this is full on green, so. Which shade do I want to hit pan on is the next question. Let me, I'm, I'm gonna swatch everything that I currently have just to see, I don't have any greens, but let me just have a look and see what my color story looks like and maybe what can add to it. All right, so this is my color story. They're all really neutral and then you do have a little bit more of a warm tone neutral from the Odin's Eye Alva and then you have the Gleam shade from um, the Midnight palette from Beauty Base. So I think honestly any of, any of these shades will go with it. I'm kind of leaning away from the more yellow toned ones. I'm thinking potentially this one, which is called Polar Light. This one is beautiful. It's green, but it also has like a purple sort of um, twist to it. 
there's also I mean I could go on full-on green I think I I mean there is Aurora which is really beautiful as well which is like full-on purple but I do already have a purple so I definitely want to pull like a green so I think I'm gonna do the first one that I just watched which is polar light which is uh, this one right here I also have a little dip in it so these these don't take me very long to hit oh so beautiful look at that it is so beautiful and it's a beautiful little topper shade too but also it has that like hint of purple you can see purple there and then it has the flip of green so I really like this shade really love this palette and it'd be really nice to get a pan in it because I don't have a pan in it currently which is shocking and I know I've hit pan in one gloss gods before um, I think it was in Pan Those Eyeshadows a few months ago, it was a different palette, and it didn't take me very long to hit Pan in the shade, so I don't think it's going to take me very long to hit Pan in that. Maybe, I'm going to predict like five, five uses in the project, and then I'll be rolling it out. They're just really squishy, they're kind of like, they're better, but they're like the ColourPop uh, shade that I just rolled out today, they're squishy like that, but so much softer and sweeter and nicer in my opinion, but but they're like the same sort of like, it's not that hard and I do go in with my fingers, so I don't, it's not, I don't purposely press really hard either, it just so happens that maybe I am a little heavy handed, I don't really know. But yeah, I'm excited to roll this one in, I don't, I don't, I don't know why I'm still holding it, it's just a beautiful palette. Anyway, so this is my new color story, which is kind of the same, I'm really glad that we got the Juvia's place out because it was very warm tone and what it's going to do is, it's going to allow me to work on my Project Level Up palette, which is the Artemis, because this is so heavily warm toned and a lot of these shades clash with the Juvia's Place and it just didn't make sense for me to have that in anymore. I may struggle with these two, um, this one in particular, Baby's Breath, because again, it's kind of warm tone. So I have to try to remember to use that while I'm using the Artemis because it is a pretty shade and the Artemis does lack lighter shimmers. It's got, it's very good on like mid-tone browns and stuff, but it doesn't have a lot of light shimmers. So I just need to remind myself to double dip and like make sure I go into my project level up and my pan those eyeshadows at the same time in order to get as much use as possible through them. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you'd like to, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.